Good afternoon, Rich Nass with Embedded Computer Design. I'm here in the Blaze booth. I'm here with Dineker, and I even said your first name right. I'm not even <laughs> gonna try your last name, but he's the CEO of Blaze. And this is sort of like your coming out party here, right? Right, it is. The first time we're making a, a public, a public appearance. Why now? We have a product now. Uh, we have our, our chips in pilot mode in uh, customer labs. They've been out uh, for about a year now. So are you showing demos here? We are showing uh, a few partner demos. Good. Before we walk over, just explain to me what is it that you're showing over there in the demos. So, so we have uh, three different uh, uh, use cases segments. Smart vision, automotive, and uh, enterprise computing. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, demos featuring uh, these three verticals. So smart vision is around pose estimation that you'll see. Uh, a typical application has uh, AI and non-AI kind of workloads, mm -hmm. vision processing and so on. Uh, the, the uniqueness is uh, the architecture is very efficient, that you, you are able to get real-time performance on several of these applications in a small silicon foot, footprint, small power envelope, and a small cost envelope. And that's where that's, Blaze that's, comes that's, in. That's, where, yeah, exactly. that's great. You want to go see a demo? Sure. Cool. We can. So what we're demonstrating here is a full autonomous driving stack on Blaze's GSP architecture. And what's really significant about this is it demonstrates the benefits of our architecture. So what we're showing here is a full autonomous driving stack running on the Blaze GSP architecture. This really demonstrates some of the key features and functionality of our um, architecture that number one, provides more efficiency, number two, um, dramatically reduces memory bandwidth and uh, overall memory footprint, which requires, uh, or excuse me, reduces overall uh, platform and system power. Back up to efficiency, what do you, when, when do you say efficiency, how do you define that? But by efficiency we mean by uh, utilizing our architecture in, in a very efficient way, um, offering lower power, um, running the application in such a way that it's minimizing the use of total uh, capabilities of the architecture. So it's running Got an it. application very efficiently. Okay, very yeah. good. Yeah. And so again, what we're showing here is a full drive path. and. So what our system is doing, we're in, inside the cabinet here, we have one of our development stations, which has one of our, um, our G PCI uh, GSP cards acting in accelerator mode. And that card is actually running um, all the calculations in order to create this drive path for the car. So we're doing semantic segmentation, we're taking input from LiDAR, radar, and cameras, which is being fed into a Unity system which creates our drive path here. That's a lot of data coming in. It's a huge amount of data. And we have to think about, this is just our, um, our proof of concept uh, development platform. This isn't our full production platform, which will have over 2x overall performance. Wow. So we're doing a lot of computing on this. And the reason we can do that much computing is what I'm showing here in terms of how we go about our processing. And number one is if we look at traditional architectures like Intel x86, NVIDIA GPUs and so forth, no matter how you structure your programming, you're still running your program in a very sequential manner. Um, in this case, we're, we're comparing a basic uh, four node graph. Um, on a CPU or GPU, we're uh, running node A. Node A has to run tasks one and two. When those are completed, it starts B and C. What happens in between those? All that data goes into DRAM, so we have a lot of writing back and forth of the memory architecture. And what that means is, in terms of an output, it's very sequential. So node A, B, C, and D, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of memory. In our architecture, we're doing graph streaming. And what that means is that we have a hardware scheduler in our architecture that when we compile, it knows all the dependencies mm -hmm. of the various different parts of the graph. So when we start node A, Node A knows exactly what Node B and C need, so it can generate just enough data and hand it off to the next compute node instead of sending that to DRAM. That's where we get the efficiency. So if you look at the comparison on the graph, in terms of time, we're cutting the, the time to run the graph uh, in half, and we're using significantly less memory. What we are showing here is a face recognition demo. Okay. Right? And, uh, this can be applied in several market segments. For example, uh, anything that is related to smart vision. For example, uh, it could be security surveillance, right? So I'll just walk through it. Now how this demo works is you see here. We have captured an input which comes through the video, uh, uh, which comes through the camera. You capture a frame because video is a series of frame. You try to detect faces. So here we do the object detection. An object would be faces here. Once the objects are detected, faces are detected, we extract 
the facial features. And that's where the 126 points on the face come. We compare that feature with the database that we already have. And if the match comes, right, you flag the name. For example, here, the model is already trained on 10,000 faces, but it is not trained with my face. Now, the, the significance of this particular solution that we have made is we don't need to retrain because retraining would take a longer time, right? It takes three to four days if okay. you want to train again with new faces. Right. So how we have made this application is you just add a face, right? And you try to extract all the features and try to match it against the name with which you have stored. And we have we are achieving almost 80% accuracy here. And which is which is really significant mm -hmm. and we have put two months in it because even the commercial solutions in the market you don't find it. Very good. All right. That's great. So yeah, that's it. So, so it's recognizing good. my face. Very good. And we are done. That was a very impressive demo. That was great, Dinica. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thanks and for coming. Best here. of luck to you guys. Thank you very much.